guys welcome back welcome to my channel i'm morgan and today i'm doing my september and october 2024 reading wrap up so i did this for july and august too i'm just bunching together everything i read in september and october because i literally only read three books in september so i didn't really want to make a whole video on that but yeah in total i read 10 books between september and october three in september and seven in october as you can tell i had a lot more time on my hands in October then September because September I had like tennis every single day so really had no time for reading yeah between September and October we had some five stars we had some pretty low stars it's kind of all over the place I read all different kinds of genres I feel like I feel like I haven't read any mysteries in a while and I don't know why because I feel like right now like fall time gives mysteries vibes so I don't know why I haven't read any but I just haven't. I don't know. That was completely off topic. Let's get into the books. We'll start with September. First book I read in September was A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid, Khalid Hosseini. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm definitely butchering that. But I really enjoyed this book. I gave this book a four stars. It was really good. It was different from, I feel like, a lot of other books I've read. It's basically about this girl named Miriam and this other woman named Layla and it's kind of told from like two different time periods so Miriam is 15 and she's sent to marry this guy named Rashid who is 30 years older than her and then two decades later there's like this I think there's like a war going on and all this stuff it takes place in Afghanistan so I don't really know too much about the history of Afghanistan but there was some sort of like war and there was lots of like bombings and stuff so there's like this tragic thing that happens and Layla has to end up joining Miriam's household which Miriam and her husband Rashid are not like they don't get along at all because Miriam didn't want to marry him but she was kind of forced to. Layla ends up living with them and there's like tension for sure and lots of stuff happens. There's definitely some trigger warnings. I would look up probably before reading this but overall it's a beautiful story it's a really beautiful story it was really difficult to read though lots of heartbreaking moments very sad but it was still a really good story i would definitely recommend next book i read was the x talk by rachel lynn solomon and okay this book was a two stars for me i don't know it started off really strong and then by the end i was like just not feeling it there was no chemistry in my opinion and I forget what exactly I didn't like. I'm like really bad at remembering things because I literally read this like forever ago. No, nothing really stuck out to me. I feel like the way it was like lined up to be such a good story. Like it was a great concept, but I just didn't like the way it was executed. About this girl named Shay and she's been a producer for nearly a decade and can't even imagine like having a different job. But then this new guy, Dominic joins, he, is always bragging about his like journalism master's degree or something and he thinks he knows everything about public radio so their station needs like this a new concept because they're kind of like not as popular as they want to be so shay proposes that they start this thing called the x talk where they like have x's host a podcast and so dominic and shay pretend that they're exes they have to just like perform as though they're exes and they have to pretend they are like the show starts to get really popular so now they start to like worry that they're gonna be revealed that they weren't actually exes and they also start to kind of develop feelings for each other so it's kind of messy but again i feel like this is a great concept i just did not enjoy the book the way it was executed yeah i just didn't really like the two main characters probably something i really didn't like but i can't remember next book i read and final book for september was magnolia parks by jessa hastings this was literally oh my god one of my most highly anticipated reads ever like i've been wanting to read this for years and it did not disappoint i give this book five stars literally obsessed obsessed like i am obsessed i need to read the rest of the series like i would have already read them by now but they don't have them at my library so i'm planning to honestly ask for the whole series for christmas because with me i don't own books like i only get them at the library unless i'm like absolutely obsessed i'm going to make some exceptions specifically akatar i will be buying that eventually one day 
the whole series, and then Magnolia Parks. I think those are the two series that are my absolute favorite. Well, I've never, no, that's not even true yet because I have not read the entire Magnolia Parks series. I've only read the first book, but they don't have the rest of the books in my library, so the only way I can really read them is if I buy them. So, therefore, I believe I need to buy them, and I'm already obsessed off this first book so I feel like I'm gonna love the rest of it. So it's basically about Magnolia Parks and her and BJ Valentine have been dating for like a while but they're kind of on and off and their relationship it's this book is so messy and like not at all what like a relationship should look like I feel like like it's it's not an ideal situation. However, I couldn't help but root for them and I just loved all the drama. Ugh, ugh, I loved BJ. I just loved the whole book. Like, such a dysfunctional relationship and like, Magdalene ends up like dating these other people to kind of like make him jealous, but then like she ends up kind of like starting to like this other guy and then it's like, it's like, it's so much drama, but oh, it's so good. And the way it ended, oh my god, the way it ended literally I forget how it ended, but I know it was good. I forget now. I need to look that up, but I remember literally my jaw dropping. First book I read in October of 2024 was The Starfish Sisters by Barbara O'Neill. Now, this book was a two star. I feel like I had a lot of two stars. I feel like, I don't know. I was also in a reading slump, I think, while I was reading this one. So that may have affected it for sure. But for some reason, I just was so uninterested in the characters in this book. Like, I just did not care at, at all about anything. And I just feel like nothing happened. Like, the, from the beginning to the end of the book, I mean, stuff did happen. But, like, to me, I was like, this feels so pointless. Like, I was just so uninvested in the characters. I did not care about the relationships. Like, <laughs> That sounds awful. It it really could have been because I'm in a book slump. Like, I was in a book slump at the time. It's about Phoebe and Suze, and they kind of grew up basically as, like, best friends, almost like sisters. But then they had, like, a falling out, and then, like, I don't know if it's Suze or Susie. I'm just going to say Suze. She's, like, a famous actress. She's been involved in all these, like, gang things. Like, she keeps getting, like, attacked, which... I thought that was kind of like really random. I don't know. And then like they kind of have like these like things they have to like work through from their past because they like have these like past. They were like jealous of each other at times and just like the normal like friendship, you know, arguments and stuff. Like it definitely had some good messages. And I feel like it could like I don't know why I didn't enjoy it because like my friend recommended it and she like absolutely loves this book. It's like her favorite book ever. Um, and I'm like, I don't know why I didn't like it. The setting was really nice, though. I will give it that. It was very pretty setting. Next book I read was Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood. Another two star. Yeah, again, this book started off strong, I think, too. But then I think there was just way too much spice. Like, the whole book was just spice. I, like, once you got to this one part, the rest of it was just it was too much and I was like this is so bad like I don't know and I didn't feel any chemistry between these main characters I hate books where it's like insta love and then they like don't even like know each other and they're like suddenly dating and like you don't even know each other I just don't get it like it's just attraction but it's like nothing like you don't know each other so I don't know it's about Rue and Eli so Rue works at this like company called Klein and idolizes her boss which is i think her boss's name like something klein eli and his business partners want klein because they found out something about the company and like rue thinks they're trying to take he's trying to take it over so she like gets mad and but like eli can't stop thinking about her lots of tension but i don't know i did not like it next book i read was before the coffee gets cold i'm not even gonna really try to pronounce this person's name Hoshi Kazu Kawaguchi definitely just butchered that I'm so sorry the book was really cute I gave this four stars it was really cute I mean honestly it wasn't like super like eventful but it had like so many just like really cute moments and like I feel like it was very atmospheric for fall like it gave fall vibes for some reason it was just like took place in this little coffee shop basically this cafe where you can sit in this one seat and you can go back in time and like see people 
but only if they've ever been in the coffee shop before and you have to like go back to the specific time when you know they were in there and i just feel like it was so cute like there were so many adorable lessons and moments and it was just very moving i would definitely recommend the next book i read was the assassin's blade which these are like the novellas before throne of glass and i gave these a three stars honestly kind of generous like i don't know i just i don't think throne of glass is my thing i read the first one before reading the novellas and i did not even really like the first one i didn't like throne of glass that much i gave it three stars which was also kind of generous like they were fine like they were definitely like very jam-packed and lots of action and stuff but i just didn't i don't know why i can't get into it for some reason there was like a really good part one of the the novellas in this this is like five different novellas in one book i think or something like that the one was like really like very emotional it had its good parts and stuff so it wasn't like i wouldn't say all together it was like horrible or anything I just don't think it's for me. It's about Selena Sardothian and she's like the most deadly assassin and all this stuff, which I think that's what really gets me. At least in the first Throne of Glass book, I felt like she does not seem to me like she's like the deadly assassin. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like she didn't act that way. So that's why I just, I don't know. It just wasn't the best. But I did, I like the, I think I like the novellas though better than I liked the first line of glass. Maybe maybe it'll get better as I keep reading. Next book is The Sunshine Sisters by Jane Green. And this book was so good. I gave it five stars. It is literally just like so many good lessons in this book. So many heartwarming moments, but also like really difficult to read moments. And I feel like the time of life that I was going through when reading this, it's about like these three sisters and then her, their mom, who their mom is like this pretty famous, I guess. And but she's like very narcissistic and she ends up kind of like alienating her daughters and not really caring for them too well at all. So the three girls kind of did not really like their mom and as soon as they were old enough they were like I'm out of here they like left the house and they don't really they didn't grow up with the best mom so now it's like later in life it kind of this goes back and forth in time I think it was I think it was slowly from past to present. I just feel like this book kind of is like a modern little woman in a certain ways not really but like definitely the sister element and like the family element and the lessons like there's so many lessons to be learned from this book and like i loved all the characters i was so invested in each of their individual stories there was never like because you would switch from like one sibling to the next and like their life and there was never a time where i was like ugh, like i don't want to be in this character's life like i liked all of them like equally and i enjoyed how they all came together and made the story just so good like i love this it was so beautiful and their mother she becomes ill and it kind of like brings them all back together because they've all kind of been distant for a while because they all kind of dealt with their mother differently and it kind of like pushed them away from each other but then when her mom their mom gets ill they kind of like reunite and Oh, it's, it's a really good story. I would recommend. Okay, next book I read was My Fault by Mercedes Ron. Ooh, this book was so good. I was not expecting to like this as much as I did. I gave it four stars. My friend actually recommended it to me. It's about Noah Morgan, who she's 17 years old, and her mom ends up marrying this, like, really rich guy unexpectedly on a cruise. They move from Toronto to LA, and Noah suddenly has this, like, a whole new life and she also has a new stepbrother named nick at first they hate each other basically but as they spend more time together you know some things happen like at first when i was like this is gonna be a step sibling romance i was like Ew. don't know how i feel about that because as someone with step siblings i could not ever imagine myself dating my step sibling ever but i feel like this is a little different circumstances than my family in a way i guess i don't know i i really like i tried to look past it and the way this book was written it didn't make it seem weird but when you actually think about it like i think that would be kind of weird but i'm not judging i'm not judging i literally ate this book up and i love nicholas 
So I can't wait to read the rest of the series. And my friend said it gets better as you keep reading, so I'm excited. They also have a movie of it, but it's like in a different language and she said the translations aren't very good. So I don't know if I'll watch that. Last book I read in October was The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore. I gave this book three stars, which was honestly, again, a little generous, but it wasn't horrible. I just, I did not feel any chemistry whatsoever. Well, maybe a little bit, but like nothing, no strong chemistry. It's about this girl named Jeannie and her aunt just gifted her the Pumpkin Spice Cafe in this small town called Dream Harbor. Harbor. And it definitely gives Gilmore Girls vibes. So she meets Logan, who's a local farmer, and he usually avoids going into town at all because they kind of smother him because they've known him since he was young and stuff. And he's gone through a lot of stuff, so they really care for him. Logan and Jeannie meet and he's kind of like grumpy sunshine but he just seemed like grumpy. I don't know, I didn't really like him. And then Jeannie's like very bubbly, happy, bright. And I just feel like she could have done better than him. Like I just didn't really like him. I The only reason I gave it three stars, I mean, it was like a good story, like for the fall, like it definitely gave lots of fall vibes for sure. The whole town was like very fall-esque and everything, but I just didn't like the romance part but yeah those are all the books i read in september and october so i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below what your favorite book is because i want some new recommendations even though i have like a thousand on my tbr list it's fine i will take more recommendations so yeah that's all peace out girl scouts mm -hmm.